How to ground and bond a 200 amp service with two disconnects and two electric meters. 200 amp service that will be grounded and bonded in accordance with the NEC, National Electrical Code. The meter pan. With two electric meter sockets. And the two service disconnects is already wired and requires proper grounding and bonding. Meter pan wired. Left disconnect connected to line and load wires. The disconnect is connected to the line wires only, and an additional grounding and bonding bar will now be added to accommodate more grounding and bonding wires. Sketch of the power supply of a house with two electric meters and two disconnects, as well as grounding and bonding. Grounding and bonding of two disconnects and a meter pan with two electric meters. If the service disconnect does not have a sufficient number of terminals for connecting the grounding and bonding wires, an additional grounding strip or terminals must be added. To ensure a good and effective connection to the existing neutral, grounding terminals, a NEC compliant bonding jumper can be installed between the neutral terminals and the additional grounding bar. The first service disconnect is connected to the line and load wires and and will now be grounded and bonded as required. Make sure the neutral ground terminal of the disconnect is bonded to the disconnect enclosure. Mark the bonding bridge in green as required. Push in button type cable connector. Open one of the bottom service disconnect knockout for the push in connector. Insert the cable connector into the open knockout. Mark the ground wire from the ground rods green, if it is not green or bare, and insert it into the cable connector. Small cable strap with one hole and screw suitable for outdoor use. Secure the grounding electrode conductor to the structure within 12 inches from the wire entry into the service disconnect. Connect the grounding electrode conductor to the neutral, ground terminal of the service disconnect. Inter-system bonding bridge. Bonding bridge strip connection terminals. Terminal for connecting the grounding conductor from the service equipment. Terminals for connecting the ground wire of other equipment, if needed. Holes for screws securing the bonding bridge to the building structure. Bonding bridge terminal strip cover. Press the tabs to insert or remove the cover. From the bonding bridge terminal strip. To install an inter-system bonding bridge remove about 3 quarters inch of insulation from the grounding electrode conductor, if the conductor is insulated. Insert the grounding electrode conductor into the open terminal of the bonding bridge and tighten the screw. Secure the bonding bridge to the building structure using outdoor screws. Snap the cover onto the bonding bridge terminal strip. Open the second bottom knockout and insert cable connector. Route 4 gauge grounding electrode conductor from the water meter and connect it to the service disconnect. If a non-conductive water pipe enters the building, there is no need to install a grounding electrode conductor. Secure the grounding electrode conductor to the structure within 12 inches from the wire entry into the service disconnect. Connect the grounding electrode conductor from the water meter, where the water pipe enters the building, to the neutral, ground terminal of the service disconnect. The first service disconnect is grounded and bonded. Connect the second service disconnect in a similar way to the first, but connect the grounding electrode conductors from the second service disconnect to the grounding electrode conductors of the first service disconnect making the grounding electrodes common electrodes for both service disconnects. Grounding electrode conductor that will be connected to the grounding electrode conductor from the first disconnect to the water supply pipe and the water meter. 
Grounding electrode conductor that will be connected to the grounding electrode conductor from the first disconnect to the ground rods. Split bolt connector. Remove about 1 inch of insulation from the grounding electrode conductor from the first service disconnect to the water supply pipe and the water meter. And then strip about 1 inch the end of grounding electrode conductor from the second disconnect to the water supply pipe and the water meter. Connect the two grounding electrode conductors together using a split bolt or other suitable means. Remove about 1 inch of insulation from the grounding electrode conductor from the first service disconnect to the ground rods, and then strip about 1 inch the end of grounding electrode conductor from the second disconnect to the ground rods. Connect the two grounding electrode conductors together using a split bolt or other suitable means. Grounding electrode conductors connected from both service disconnects to the same electrode system. Grounding electrode conductors supported as required. Grounding and bonding are installed in both the service disconnects and the meter pan. Grounding electrode conductor to the water supply pipe. Grounding electrode conductor to the ground rods. The grounding and bonding of the meter pan and disconnects were made according to the sketch. 5 8 inch 8 feet long ground rods. Ground rods clamps. Install two ground rods near the service equipment 6 feet apart so that the tops of the rods are at or below ground level. Connect the ground rods using 6 gauge copper wire and connect it to the service disconnect. First ground rod continuously connected to a second ground rod. Two ground rods as an additional grounding electrode are the most convenient to install and are the first choice as a grounding electrode and are almost always required when installing a service. Ground rods connected as in the sketch. Water pipe grounding clamp. Connect service equipment to a conductive water pipe, if a non-conductive water pipe supplies the building, bonding is not required. Install water pipe grounding clamps and connect the grounding electrode conductor from the disconnect as close as possible to where the pipe enters the building, before the valve. And run to the other side of the water meter and connect after the water valve, if the valve is located close to the water meter. The water meter is connected as in the sketch. At the water heater, install grounding clamps on both the cold and hot water pipes. And connect the two pipes together using a grounding wire of the same size as the grounding electrode conductor used for the building's water supply pipe bonding. Metal water pipes are not always found in buildings, but if they are present, they must always be bonded to the electrical system. Service drop neutral wire connected as in the sketch. Grounding and bonding of a pole mounted transformer as in the sketch. Pole mounted transformer ground rod. Grounding and bonding of the 200 amp service is complete. If this video is helpful please subscribe. Comments are welcome.